Today, let us examine and let us verify the various answers given by different human beings. Time will not permit us to deal with all of them, since the time is limited. I will pick up the more famous and the more important answers given by different human beings. First, we'll discuss, can Muhammad, peace be upon him, be the author of the Quran, whether consciously, subconsciously, or unconsciously? It is rather a tragedy that a person disagrees when a person disclaims that he is not responsible for any great work, whether literary or whether scientific. But this is exactly what the Orientalists and the critics of Islam do when they say, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the author of the Quran. Never ever has the Prophet ever claimed that he was the author of the Quran. Not even a single word of the Quran. He never claimed it. Yet, when he disclaimed that he was not the author, and the Quran happens to be a masterpiece in the work of Arabic, so why will a person disclaim the responsibility of a work which is a masterpiece? Why should he lie? And we know from history, from his youth till the day he claimed prophethood at the age of 40 years, never has a single lie reported to have been said by Muhammad, peace be upon him. History never reports a single lie. And before he claimed prophethood, he was known for his truthfulness, his honesty, and chastity, and he was given the title Al-Amin, the trustworthy by friends and foes alike. And there are several examples. Even those people, after the Prophet claimed prophethood, and they said that he was lying, yet his enemies, his foes, they kept their valuables with the Prophet for safety. And this is known when the Prophet migrated from Makkah to Medina, and he told his nephew, Hadat Ali, Allah be peace with him, that give these valuables to the rightful owners. Even his foes, even after they said he lied, yet they trusted him and kept the valuables with him. Why? And we have the example that Abu Sufyan, who was the chief of one of the tribes of Makkah, when he went to Emperor Heracles and asked him for support against the Prophet, and when the Emperor asked him that, do you know of any instance in which the Prophet lied? Or has he done any injustice? And Abu Sufyan, even though he was the enemy of the Prophet that time, he had to reply, no. So why should a person with such honesty and trust and chastity, why should he lie? 